Hey everyone, this is Chris. I just got my Ghost of Framsburg adventure pack and realized I don't have enough sleeves that are the kind I use for all of my Lord of the Rings cards to sleeve up the quest. Uh, but that's okay. We're going to build a very discard pile centric Dane deck. Uh, complete with a lot of dwarves and a few Noldor for some key synergies. Uh, so we got a lot of ways to get cards into the discard pile, which is going to help us find Elven Light faster. We have a lot of ways to pull cards back out of the discard pile. Dwarven Tomb, Stand and Fight, uh, Galadrim Weaver, which is going to help us sort of keep from milling too much. Uh, and I think it's a really interesting deck strategy that could do a lot of fun things. Uh, there's another one that I want to try with Dane that is just Mono Spirit Noldor, plus Dane, obviously, uh, which allows you to cycle Lords of the Eldar, but that will be another deck. All right, so let's kick it off against this wizard's quest. Uh, I've stacked the deck to be full of lots of orcs, this is also my second attempt at doing this on camera today. Uh, thanks to an unfortunate accident with the mute button on my microphone. I did get some new tech uh, this week, which will allow me, that's not Arwen, Arwen's over here, uh, which is gonna allow me to use my fancy camera for the table video without having to swap video files in the middle which is why I moved everything around and accidentally hit the mute button. Uh, but all right, we're gonna start off with Treebeard as opposed to all these dwarves, uh, just because that combat potential could come in very handy. So we need to quest in the first round. I'll send five up against four, this could hurt. Wasted Provisions, which gains Surge. I hate that card so much. Uh, Hatred Rekindled, which gains Surge. And the Shadow Road, oof. All right, so five up against seven means I raise my threat by two. I will travel to Watched Path, and we're gonna hope next round is better. Two resources, 30 threat, readying all my characters, drawing a card, gaining some resources. Treebeard gets one too. I want to move one over to Biffer so that I can play this Prospector. Uh, we're hoping for Elven Light. This is the card that we're really looking for. Oof. Uh, and out of all of these, I will shuffle Dwarf Pipe back into the deck. Uh, and I'll put the Erebor Guard on top. I should probably don't get to choose, so it's Heed the Dream on top. Uh, also, in case it comes up, I am uh, treating all these abilities like they are magic abilities, so once I start the Erid my Prospector, I'm going to fully resolve his ability before dealing with any Dwarven pipes, or hidden caches, or anything like that. It mostly doesn't matter, except in the Dwarven pipe case. Uh, so if somebody knows whether you shuffle or put cards on the bottom, feel free to let me know. But otherwise, I'm going to stick with my plan of finish this response before triggering additional ones. I could play a Weaver, but I don't think the Heed the Dream is worth it. So we're gonna quest uh, five, six, seven, eight. Try and clear this watched path. It's not another orc enemy, thankfully. All right, eight up against six is two progress. Puts one on Radagast's request. And not a location, not a location, perfect. Uh, um, I will travel to the Shadow Road. That one damage is pretty easy to stomach. Put it on this Prospector. I am forced to engage the Wolf Rider. 
So we'll have Dane defend. Uh, deal one damage to the defending character. That is fine. Uh, and I have the option to mill more cards, which I think I'm going to do. One. Two. Stand and fight's annoying. Three. All right, didn't get Elven Light, so just moving on. I get to 31, round three. Uh, Treebeard should be able to help us deal with this Wolf Rider this round. Two resources on Arwen is nice. Two on Treebeard is even nicer. Um, <laughs> so let's move one over to Biffer again. I'll play a second Prospector. One, two, three, Elven Light, perfect. Uh, and I'm going to shuffle this Warden of Healing back into the deck. Um, because there aren't too many healing cards. There certainly aren't any dwarf healing cards. So take what we can get. And I will spend one to get Elven Light back and draw myself a card. Hidden cash, no. All right, uh, and I will cycle Elven Light one more time with Arwen to draw another card. Ooh, Dwarven Tomb, that's good. All right, and that's just gonna be it for this round. So, questing three, four, five, um, six, seven. Leave Treebeard up in case I get another enemy. Seven. Up against four is three progress, clears the path, or clears the shadow road, travel to the watched path. Dane will defend the wolf rider. Defending character cannot ready until the end of the round. Well, that's going to hurt potentially. Um, do I want to mill? Let's do it. One, two, three. All right, well, extra Elven Light is pretty good because I can cash that in for a card draw right now. Although none of those were the cards that I was hoping to see. That's all right, Treebeard will kill the Wolf Rider and maybe we'll be okay. Round four, Dane does not ready. Uh, so we're gonna be leaning on Treebeard for this. Draw a card, Miner the Iron Hills is fun. One, two. Three on Treebeard. Uh, at this point, I'll move one onto Biffer. I'd really like to get this Galdor into play. Uh, and I will cycle Elven Light with Arwen, drawing another card. Mm. Let's just leave everything else. I think we're in a good enough spot. So, questing three, four, five, six, seven, up against one. Up against. So, make three progress. One here, two on the main quest. Uh, we have to see if we get another location, which we do. Uh, I will travel to this third Mirkwood path, which is going to raise my threat by two. Uh, so, at the end of the round, we're going to take up to 35, heading into the fifth round. Draw my card, generate some resources. Hubert has four now, which is pretty safe. Uh, Biffer should be at three. Yeah, all right. So we're gonna move this one from Dane onto Biffer, which allows me to play a Galdor of the Havens make these Elven Lights extra worth it. Uh, so we're gonna cycle Elven Light to draw two cards, thanks to Galdor. One, two, hey, nice. All right, we're gonna spend one for a Dwarf Pipe on Biffer. I don't have any more of those in this, do I? I do not. Um, do I have another weaver in my hand? I do. All right, so we're gonna use a weaver to put a weaver back in the deck. Uh, I mostly just wanna shuffle because I know there's some good cards at the bottom. 
Actually, that's not true. I haven't had dwarf pipe until now. I mostly just want weavers. They're great. All right, and now we quest yet again. Three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, tree bridge should be at five resources. All right, I send eight up against three. All right, eight up against five is three progress. One and two. Please, not a location. It's not a location. Perfect. Oh, enchanted stream. Oh, so I couldn't have put that progress on the main quest. Alas, that's gross. That's real gross. Uh, let's travel to Mountains of Mirkwood just to get that out of the way, and I will choose Biffer as the hero that can't ready. He's probably the least valuable of these. A refresh takes me up to 36, heading into round six. I'd like to get some enemies soon. Treebeard on six resources, everybody else on one. I have too many cards, hidden cash. Do I have a Stargazer in here? I do not. Uh, okay. Let me discard an Elven Light to put a resource on Arwen. Draws me a card with Galdor. I have a Dwarf Pipe, but I don't want to use it right now. Um, spend one off of Biffer for Heed the Dream. Four, five. Dwarlin is good. He's a dwarf that costs one. Record Keeper is good because he lets me ready Dane. Uh, Biffer should be exhausted. Uh, let me get Dwarlin. I'll put Elven Light back on top so I don't forget. I'll play Dwalin for one, since I definitely have one, two, oh, I don't, actually. That was a lie. I thought I had five dwarves. All right, well, good enough. We're questing. I need to make four progress. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, up against three. Uh, that's probably not going to work, so I'll send Treebeard. Send nine, up against three. Each player raises his threat by two. All right, so that is enough to clear this location. Oh, I I forgot that Enchanted Stream was when you travel to it, so Biffer is not going to ready. We'll be fine. Although our threat is creeping up pretty high. 39, round seven. I have the, the allies in play to basically do whatever I want. Yes, two resources on Dane, one Biffer, three Arwen. Draw a card. Uh, I'm gonna discard Elven Light again to generate a resource and draw one more. Another Dwarf Pipe, that's pretty good. Um, what I really wanna do right now is spend five resources to put this Glorfindel in play that we've had sitting there for so long. Um, and I will spend one to put a Dwarf Pipe on the Healthy Prospector. Just gonna slide him up here. This one from Biffer is gonna turn into a Record Keeper. Biffer, once again, cannot be ready because of this traveling to Enchanted Stream. All right, so questing three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, ten, thirteen, 10, 13. And I can discard a card to ready Glorfindel, so I will discard this hidden cache. 
13 up against 1. Up against Doomed 2. I swear I shuffled these. All right, 13 up against 1 is 12 progress, which 6 here and 6 here somehow is not enough to get me on to stage 2, but I will travel to... <laughs> Uh, Rosgabel, which generates some free resources, draws me a card. That's a good one. That's about it for this round. So, 42, heading into round 8. Uh, this is a slower start than I was expecting. And also, somehow, we basically haven't seen any enemies. But I will draw my card from the round, generate these resources. Although now that Glorfindel is in play and Galdor, that's the bulk of my big allies. Uh, I'm gonna spend one for a Weaver to shuffle this hidden cash back into the deck. I want a Stargazer, but I haven't seen one yet. I am going to spend one to pick this Elven Light back up and draw a card. Yes, perfect. All right, spend two, Warden of Healing. I wanted it for so long. Uh, and I am going to spend two for this Erebor Guard, discarding two cards to reduce his cost, which gets me a Miner for free. Uh, my hand is full of Zidral Miners, but I haven't seen the Stargazer yet that would allow me to just churn through even more of these cards. Um, but, you know, I think that's probably fine. I will cycle Elven Light with Galdor. Draws me two cards. Extra Erebor Guard. No! A Miner. All right. More than good enough. I have to make two progress. Uh, so three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine up against nothing should be good enough. Oof, Chief Danuftak, who I have to deal with. All right, so nine up against three is six progress, which clears Roz Gabel, popping into play this Rider of Mirkwood, advancing me to stage two. Uh, Mirkwood Forest, search the top five. One, two, three, four, five. Cost one or less. It's not revealed, so this Ambushing Orcs is not going to do it. Goblin Caves cost two, thankfully. Uh, wasted Provisions just surges. So, Mirkwood Patrol, it is. I wanted enemies, and now we've got them. Oh, no, it does reveal things. Um, yeah, this is fine. And then we find a location of cost two or less. So now is when I get that uh, Goblin Caves. Boop. Orcs. All right, so need to make progress in order to travel to Goblin Caves in order to clear the Goblin Caves. So for right now, we're just going to have to deal with Uh, three. Orc of cost one or less. This is the one that doesn't, uh, doesn't reveal. Uh, what are my shadow effects? Discard an attachment. Not engaged with any wargs, so that shadow does nothing. Yeah, shadow effects are not super bad, aside from the one that says you can't ready. Uh, which I'm not looking forward to. Although I can't can't ready any of my <laughs> heroes regardless. Uh, so. Uftak, Mirkwood Patrol, Mirkwood Patrol. Uftak is swinging for six, so Dane will defend. Just six means I need to mill three. Uh, one hidden cache. Sweet. Uh, perfect. We'll put this two resources on Biffer. And I will dwarf pipe to put that back in the bottom of the deck. 
Uh, discard two, Bofur. Discard three, Elven Light. Um, yeah, that should be fine. So, Dane takes no damage. Uh, Treebeard is going to defend this patrol and ready before I pick the shadow card up. Not a shadow, Treebeard takes one damage. I'll do it again with Treebeard for this Mirkwood patrol. No shadow, one damage. All right, so, um, Warden of Healing could clear my board of damage right now. But do I need Dane ready in order to deal with one of these enemies? I have one, two, five, six, seven, a t oh, uh, plus Treebeard. So I actually probably don't need Dane. Uh, so we'll Warden, spending the two to ready him and Warden again, just pops off all of this damage. And I have, I need eight or nine to kill any of these enemies. So here's four, uh, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, kills Chieftain Uftak. Uh, I can ready Glorfindel with this extra hidden cash. I haven't done that yet. So Glorfindel, Treebeard, and Galdor kills a Mirkwood patrol. Uh, and we are now doing a lot better than I thought, uh, except I forgot that Goblin Caves buffs up the damage on all of these enemies. So Dane should still have one. Chieftain Uftak was attacking for a net seven. Treebeard should still have two because these Mirkwood patrols were attacking for five. Yeah, seems fine. All right, head into round nine. 43 threat, that might be the bigger concern. Draw my card for the round, it's a Stargazer. back to three resources. I'm gonna play Stargazer immediately. I'm gonna use Stargazer immediately. There's not that many cards left in the deck. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. So if I cycle Elven Light, I will draw two cards and then I can mill to get the miner into the discard pile. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna cycle Elven Light to draw two cards, thanks to Galdor and Arwen's ability. Uh, and I have a Miner primed as the next slot. Uh, this Miner. I also have another Warden of Healing, which is going to be great. At this point, my massive hand probably doesn't need it. So, up against six, we quest five, Six, seven, eight, nine. Oof. Uh, ten. Ten up against six. I just want to deal with this enemy. Deal a damage to a character I control. Uh, not that one. That would be a bad one. Uh, all right, so ten up against eight is two progress. Can't travel to Goblin Caves. We'll engage these orcs. All right, so first things first, we're gonna heal one damage off of Dane and Treebeard. So Dane can defend this Mirkwood patrol. Shuffle Black Forest Bats into the encounter deck. Well, that's just an annoying shadow. All right, so five up against Dane's three means that he is currently taking two damage. Uh, but at this point, what I'm gonna do is discard one, put a minor into play. Uh, and let's discard the other one because I don't remember what it was. Ah, oh, Prospector. I'll put that back on the bottom of the deck. All right, so Dane takes no damage from that, effectively. Uh, and I have to deal with these Dolgolder Orcs. Defend with the Erebor Guard. 
Defending character cannot ready until the end of the round. Completely fine. So four, five, six, seven, uh, eight with the minor to kill the Merkwood Patrol. And I only need five to kill Dog Alter Orcs. So let's discard uh, this extra Galdor to ready Glorfindel. And Glorfindel plus Galdor kills the Orcs. And now I can quest a little more heavily because I don't have any enemies sitting here with me. It's probably good because we just hit round 10 at 44 threat. Stack up these miners so the damaged one is on the top. Erebor Guard's not ready this round. Um, I forget what card is on the top of my deck, but I'm just going to draw it and assume that it's a good one. I know it is not an Arid Ruin Miner. Oh right, it's a horse. Yep, it's a shame that the Wild Stallion is a restricted attachment, because otherwise Treebeard with a horse would be awesome. Uh, do I have another Weaver in my hand, or is the Weaver in here? All right, Weaver's in the discard pile. I stand and fight in my hand, or is Dwarven Tomb the only option? Uh, okay. <laughs> Pay one Dwarven Tomb to get back uh, the Weaver that I just looked at. Ooh. Going to discard a Miner to put a resource on Arwen and draw a card thanks to Galdor. Going to spend one to weaver this miner back into the deck because I definitely need free allies at this point. There's one, two, three, four, five, six cards left. Uh, and I'm gonna stargazer to look at them. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay, sure. Awesome. Uh, it is. Three hidden caches and an arid Luin miner on the top of the deck. So uh, next round, I'm going to be able to play everything. Just everything. Uh, spend these two for another Warden of Healing. And let's move on to questing. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... Send the miners to 12, up against 6. All right, 12 up against 8 is 4 progress. And that means that now I can travel to the Goblin Caves, uh, but this Mountains of Mirkwood is going to doom me, and I really don't want to deal with that. So we're going to travel there first. Well, now I'm going to end up with a hidden cache in my hand, because I didn't get an enemy to defend, and I can't discard cards with any of the rest of these. Oh well, uh, Wardens of Healing will heal up my allies, and we'll move on to the next round. I really do need to, to get a move on, because if I get doomed, uh, we're, we're pretty much done. So, draw my card for the round, it's that hidden cache. Generate resources. Uh, so the next two are cards I want to discard, which I will do by playing this Erebor Guard, discarding a hidden cache for two resources on, I guess, Arwen, why not? And a third miner so that I can miner for free. At this point, I will spend one for a Dwalin. Um... Can Miner of the Iron Oh no, I, I can Miner of the Iron Hills. Let's play a Pony. Uh, discard a Hidden Cache to generate a resource and draw a card. Uh, and we'll move that resource from Arwen to Biffer. So that I can spend one for another Record Keeper. Give me something to do with these lore resources in the future. Uh, tribute should be at five, I think. 
All right, we need to quest and clear this location. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, uh, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen up against six. Uh, all right, eleven. Ten up against six is four progress, which is just enough. I'm gonna put some extra damage on all of these guys. And one on this guy. And one over here, and one over here, and one over here. Uh, and now I can travel to the Goblin Caves. It's gonna force me to deal with a goblin in the future, but not yet. So I'm gonna heal one, two, three, four points. Uh, actually, let's leave that one on this miner. Pick this one up off of the dwarf with the pipe. Can't fight anything. Refresh up to 46 in round 12. My threat was very high the last time I did this too uh, because this deck is pretty dirtily overall. Uh, generate some resources. Draw a card. There's one left in the deck, which is actually kind of bad. Um, so move one over to Biffer, and I'm going to spend three for self-preservation. It's a card that I've always enjoyed, but usually don't find the space to play. There's no big allies that I need to pull or anything like that. No great ways to shuffle back into my deck. Uh, so I might as well just discard this Elven Light and draw this last card thanks to Galdor. It's a Prospector, which is actually pretty good. Uh, but all right, that's my hand now, not my deck. Uh, Wild Stallion. I will attach to Dwalin so that he has three defense and four hit points. Ought to be good for something. And we'll quest. Three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. It doesn't feel like enough. I'll send Treebeard for 14. No, yeah, this should be fine. All right, 14 up against three. 11 up against four, it's enough progress to clear the goblin caves, which advances me and gets me an orc. Uh, so let's get that orc right now. Take this ambushing orcs. And we move on to stage three A. Search the top five cards of the encounter deck. One, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna reveal this card Cost two or less. I can doomed one. No, oh, yeah, we'll take this one. Take a wolf rider, because that surge is nasty. Wolf rider surges into a necromancer's ward. We just have a ton of these. Uh, and now on 3B, I pull these cards back into the deck and discard until I find an enemy to guard a hero. Well, with no cards left in my deck, I think Arwen is possibly the safe choice. Biffer loses me a Dwarven Pipe, but that also doesn't matter. No, but with Biffer, I can play a Prospector and do something. Redraw a card from my discard pile. All right, so let's hope it's not Chief the Noof Duck. Doggle their orcs. Gonna <laughs> be guarding a hero. Uh, they will guard Arwen. Oh, Hidoki. 
Uh, yeah. Let's let's move to combat. Let's figure out how I can do this without uh, completely running out of space. So I have to engage all of these enemies. Hey, <laughs> all right, Stargazer, you can come over here. And they get shadow effects. One, two, three, four, five. And I don't have any resources to pay to ready Dane. All right, well, I'll have Dane defend these ambushing orcs. I just chief to Nuftak. That's not so bad. He takes no damage. Uh, Dwalin, who has three defense, defend this Dolgulder orcs. Attacking enemy gets plus two, so that's two damage on Dwalin. Uh, I'll have these two defend these two Wolf Rider and Warg. All right, so Wolf Rider comes and engage with me. Black Forest Bats get shuffled back in here, and I will deal a Shadow card to the Wolf Rider. Uh, so this is by far the worst this has ever been. I'll Stargazer defend these Black Forest Bats. I'm forced to discard an attachment. Uh, I guess I'll lose a Dwarf Pipe, because I don't really need that anymore. Uh, and I have a Wolf Rider attack, which has to go somewhere. I haven't used Glorfindel this round, but I want to use him to kill stuff. All right, we're going to put a Warden of Healing under the bus. Attacking enemy gets plus one, so the Warden is very dead. Okay, now we get to fight back. Uh, so Treebeard swings for four and kills a Wolf Rider. Um, Treebeard and Glorfindel kills a Dolgulder Orcs and gets me Arwen back. Exhausted. Uh, I have to discard a card to ready Treebeard, so that will be... Some of these are vaguely good. Um, Stargazer has probably outlived her usefulness. I can kill two more enemies, so I think I will. Uh, four and three kills these two. And we have somehow weathered the storm. <laughs> Take back up to 47, refresh. Uh, at this point, I think the plan is to quest with everyone or we lose. Um, oh yeah, this Stargazer is also dead. That was the point of defending with her. Alright, get my... Drop a die on the floor instead of placing it on a card. Okay, apparently I need more coffee this morning. Can't draw any cards. I have my whole deck in my hands. At this point, we'll move one of... No, at this point, it makes more sense for me to play uh, Sigil Miner for the willpower. Uh, I can discard a Dwarf Pipe that I'm not going to use to get a resource on Arwen, move it over to Biffer, and then spend those two for a... Prospector? I think I will get the Prospector, which allows me to put one of these back in the deck. Literally any one that I would like. Uh, of all of these, I think the most useful is this Bofer. We're going to shuffle it back into my empty deck. Uh, yeah, and we're basically just going to quest as hard as we can. So three, four, five, uh, leave Dane, because enemies, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 
It's not actually as hard as I can go, but I think it will keep me safe. So 18 up against four is for sure not enough. Up against seven means I make 11 progress. Uh, and we're just praying for not doomed. I will travel to Watched Path. Get that out of the way. Deal out these shadow cards. Uh, Dane will defend ambushing orcs. That shadow does nothing when Dane has no damage on him. Perfect. Uh, Dwalin will defend black forest bats, which shuffle the shadow black forest bats back into the encounter deck. I am never playing with these black forest bats again. Uh, and now I get to fight back. So I have four, five kills and ambushing orcs. And I need four to get rid of these bats. Uh, so I will discard a... Discard an extra miner of the Iron Hills to rid of Gorfindel. Attack, attack. Uh, and Galdor will draw me this card when I do the discard effect. So, refresh brings me up to... A precarious 48 threat. Uh, I need to spend my resources because there is that wasted provisions card which is going to boost my threat even more. So literally anything that I can do to spend resources I will do. Uh, one and one and one. Oh, I should have uh, healed with the warden last round. Treebeard is at two. Uh, so let's discard. Spend two for a Zigil Miner. Uh, I'm gonna discard a Zigil Miner for a resource on Arwen, which I will move to Biffer and spend for a Miner of the Iron Hills. Like I said, clear the resources. Uh, and I just have to quest. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 19 up against four. All right, 19 up against six is 13 progress. Clears the watched path, puts 12 more on the main quest. I have recovered Arwen, dealt with all these enemies, and that is a win. Uh, literally one turn before we would have threaded out. I guess technically I have two more options, but 48 threat is very scary. All right, everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing some of these discard pile shenanigans in action. Thanks for watching.